So these are the things I really like about the Intellitronics ignition box. One, it's a multi-spark box, very much like the MSD in function. It also has a built-in rev limiter that you can adjust hundreds and thousands all the way up to almost 10,000 RPM. It has built-in fail-safes so that if something shorts out in the system, your distributor goes out or your coil screws up or something, or you maybe get a voltage spike, it will actually shut down and protect itself so it doesn't get damaged. All you have to do is let it completely power down and reboot it. And usually it'll start right back up and it's been protected from damage. Um, but if something should occur, it also has a lifetime warranty from the factory in Ohio. You just call the guys up over there. They're wonderful to talk to and you just send it to them and they fix it. No questions asked. They're trying to make a bulletproof product and they've done a really good job. But in addition to that, this thing also has a diagnostic tool built into it. So it will tell you if everything's hooked up correctly and functioning properly or if your distributor is not giving you a signal or if you have a shorted coil or if you have a bad connection to your coil. And these are all the components in the system, so it's actually a really nice time saver should something stop working and you don't know why. Uh, another thing I really like about it is it has a really clean harness that's simple to install, and it also has these short plugs so that if you have to remove it for any reason, you don't have to undo the whole harness. You unplug two power wires, you unplug two harness plugs, and it's right out of the way. You can get it out of the vehicle without having to pull any wires, any looms, any zip ties. You just disconnect it right at the box and it comes out. For me, that's awesome. I think you'll find it also nice. So let's look at how this thing actually works here. I did some short videos of what it would look like when these various things happen while the system is operating or you're trying to crank your vehicle. So this first clip is what it looks like with the engine running properly. You can see that there's a green light flashing which indicates that I'm getting a good signal from the distributor and clearly everything else is working because no other faults are occurring and it's running properly. Now this is what it's going to look like if you don't have a distributor signal. You have power to the box, but there's no signal, so you get no flashing of the light. It will not run, but everything else seems to be correct. This is a distributor problem. Bad stator or something. Now if you look here, the coil has been disconnected. So this would be a bad coil, or it would be a bad wiring problem, but if you have no signal to your coil, or you have an open circuit at the coil, your box is going to tell you that. We're cranking it over and it's green and it's flashing, but it's not starting. And then notice it turns red and it's flashing red because there's an open coil. When you stop trying to crank it, it's still going to keep telling you what the problem is with that code until you turn the key off. Now in this case, if you have a bad coil that's shorted out, which happens from time to time, I simulated that by clamping these two wires together, you can see that light turns solid red. That means a bad shorted coil. So these are the features of this box. In my opinion, it's the best box you can get out there on the market for the money for sure. And it gives you diagnostic tools, warranted for life. And it's also, a, it's got the rev limiter. It's just a great, it's a great little product. So next thing we're gonna look at is gonna be a digital dashboard for a mid eighties Ford truck. We're gonna do the installation on that. So have a great day. Enjoy Intellitronic stuff. Just stop by their website. You might really like what you see.